We talked about the general idea about the Yushpizen, but uh, it's Kedai, so let's touch upon very, very quickly, and as Moshe Weimiger would say, it's an Oneg on every night of that, that specific Yushpizen to go over a little bit who that person was, to read the story in the Chumash and to learn the Mepharshim, if we get a chance, obviously. And, um, but just a little touch to start us off, and uh, we'll start us off a little bit, and you can expound on this a little bit more from the very, very, very quick ideas. What, 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 what shaykhs do Shpizen have to the simple? So Avram Avinu is very simple. Avram Avinu is one of the main commandments of Avram Avinu that everybody knows is Lech Lecha. Go, go leave your house, leave your father's home. Leave where you're comfortable. And that's obviously a connection between, with Sukkot, where Sukkot we're leaving. We're leaving our place from home. We're coming into Avram Ivri. Avram from that other side. We're, we're starting to leave our home and we're, we're all Ivri. We're on the other side. We're not in the comfortable place of home and we're not in the regular place. So that perhaps is a connection to Avram. Obviously, this is only the tip, tip, tip of the iceberg and what, what to uh, look into a lot more. The connection of Lech Lecha and say when Diras uh, Diras Keva and to go into a Diras Arai, that's Avram Avinu. Yitzchak, Yitzchak, we don't get the we don't get the, the Yitzchak, we don't see the Zman uh, Simchasenu by Yitzchak. We get Yitzchak as some, somebody who fears Hashem. We don't see the Simcha by Yitzchak. But really, the Indian of of, of, of being, being Simcha by Hashem to, to feel the Simcha by Hashem is for the person who who doesn't who, who fears Hashem and does not fear anything else. As we say in the Davar Hashem, Ori, Hashem ma'oz chayai mimi afchad. Once Hashem is ma'oz, the strength of my life. Who am I going to fear from? Kitz b'neni b'sukkah b'yom ra. Because, because in a yom ra, you're going to put me in a sukkah, and there's no fear. And therefore, the sukkah is Yitzchak Avinu because there's no fears out there. Kitz b'neni b'sukkah b'yom ra. When I'm a sukkah b'yom ra, that's a mid of Yitzchak. The mid of Yitzchak is Kitz chai. Kitz chai. That's his shame. Kitz chai. Yitzchak is Kitz chai. That in the end, Yitzchak has his great simcha of true fear of Hashem, and therefore all the anxieties of the world fall off. And so too in a sukkah, a lot of the anxieties of the world, when sitting in Tzelbe and Musa, we can truly feel the simcha of Hashem. Yaakov Avinu. Yaakov actually went to Sukkot, and the, the Pasuk actually says that he built Sukkot. He traveled to Sukkot, and ya- Yaakov bought a Sukkot. It says, obviously connects between Yaakov and Sukkot. Perhaps one, one idea is that Yaakov had no spe- was not stuck in any media. He had a media to Ferris. Whatever Midah was called for Yaakov Avinu, that's where he went. Avram was Chesed, and, and Yitzchak was Din, and they had their specific Midah. Yaakov was, was able to dance between the Midos. He was able to be a Sukkah, to be, to be whatever w- 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 was, was asked of him. That was the Midah of, of, uh, of Yaakov, and that's why Yaakov represented Shlemus. Because the Shlemus is whatever Midah I'm supposed to be, whatever it calls for. If I'm supposed to dance, now I dance. Now I'm supposed to learn seriously, now I'm supposed to learn seriously. Now. Whatever midah Yaakov Avinu was supposed to be, that's where Yaakov Avinu was, and that's connection between Sukkot. Not to be stuck in one, even if it's a good midah. Sometimes if we're stuck in one midah, so it's not always that midah called for. To be, to be, Vaisa Yaakov Ragla, Vaisa Yaakov Ragla, that Yaakov was able to pick up his feet and move, he was able to have the agile between all the midos. And that's the idea of Yaakov, of Sukkot, of to be able not to be stuck in one area. Moshe Rabbeinu, Moshe is the honor of Mikal Adam, and we know that Hashem says that I, my Shechina cannot be dar, there's no room to be with the Balgaiva, there's no room for my Shechina to rest. I need, Vuhu, lo yechala dar, ba'olam echad. When one is Moshe Rabbeinu, one is an honor, but he leaves space for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that's when HaKadosh Baruch Hu comes in. And it's, the idea of sukkah is to leave space for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to live to, a little more anivos and to let HaKadosh Baruch Hu more into our lives. So that's Moshe. Aaron. Aaron, obviously, the obvious connection is Anani HaKavod. Aaron. And the Anani HaKavod was, it, according to one opinion, is the idea of Sukkot is not Sukkot Mamish, but also Anani HaKavod. And Aaron is that concept of the love of Am Yisrael. And when, 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 when we have that love of Am Yisrael, we have the Achtas of Am Yisrael, the Anani HaKavod can rest upon us. And that's uh, the, the Sukkot resting up, upon us. Uh, we know that Aaron is even connected to the Lulav. With uh, with the Hine Prach Mate Aaron, that the Mate Aaron flourished, Tzadik Tamar Yifrach, that the that the um, that the Tzadik, the the Lulav comes out, the Tamarim come out. That's which uh, the Lulav is from the Eitz Tamar. 
and that is a little bit Aaron. Suk is also Lashon Lesachot, to see, to get a better view of life. And Aaron is also Osu's Nirat, to see, that so when a person is, sees like Aaron, he's able to see more into people. Yosef HaTzadik, Yosef HaTzadik, Yosef is, has the dream of the Maasef, of the, all the alumot of the field coming together. And this is also Sukkot bringing together all the kochos of Elul, of Rosh Hashanah, of Yom HaKippur, and all, all of the Shal Shogalim even, as in Pesach and Pesach, Sukkot bringing together all the, the kochos, and that is Yosef HaTzadik. And Dovid HaMelech is obviously connected to Shana Rabbah. Dovid HaMelech in terms of also being the honor, being the uh, feeling that, that, that the, being the Arava, being Malchus, Whatever is put in, whatever midos, that's what I'm going to shine with. And that's David HaMelech, and that's the last, the last of Sukkot of Shana Rabbah, to have that message, to be a David HaMelech, to be B'nei Kalosi Od Mizos Vaisi Shafa Be'inav, to be the Arava, and to be there, to be the Malchus of Hashem, to be a Kli of the Malchus of Hashem. Each day, each day we could be Mamik a little bit into the Avos, into the Ushpizim, into the Shiva Rohim, and to find that connection between us and the Ushpizim, between the Ushpizim and Sukkot, and, and in general, and to take this once again into the year and to live with the Ushpizah, not only on Sukkot, but to meet them on Sukkot, introduce, introduce ourselves on Sukkot, and to live with them all year.